Hello everyone, so I want to talk about uh, polygroups in this uh, video tutorial and uh, so polygroups is a way that we can organize and have different ways of controlling subtools control in one subtool so this is super important because uh, we can actually use this to control different areas for example I want to um, retain the mass on the ears, I want to retain the mass on the muzzle, I want to be able to sculpt on just the blue part of the legs, you know, I, we can actually have all this control in just one subtool. So we don't need to uh, have different different subtools and have a whole list of subtools for our ZBrush modeling. So if we do this well, so it's a very powerful tool for us to organize our groups and uh, for us to organize our mesh to uh, plan how to keep moving forward with uh, sculpting of our mesh. Okay, so uh, I also also teach you some tips regarding how to do this. So this is a tutorial by this uh, artist. Okay, so, uh, so how he actually finished this at the end of this uh, tutorial is you'll be able to end up with just the muzzle and the head. Okay, so uh, if you group them up properly, you end up with just a muzzle and a head. And uh, you can just within a few clicks, you will be able to get this result. So it's really, really very useful for us. Okay, so uh, let's get started. So I'll select this image, I'll copy it, and then I'm going to paste it into my pure ref. I press Ctrl Shift R to center it. And then I'll open up a dock from my light box. Okay, so this dock here is the default dock. Uh, just off my perspective view and I'm checking out the uh, geometry to see if it's a uh, subdivision or dynamesh so it's obviously dynamesh because there's nothing for me to delete and I'll just pump out the resolution to uh, say nearly 400 so just uh, 380 or 400 resolution is fine and I just dynameshed it actually let me do it again because I want it to look a little bit more polished Okay, I think I'm fine with that. Okay, so uh, let's get started. So from the side view, if I press uh, Shift F, you can see the dense uh, wireframe that we have right now. Okay, so all these are one face and one wireframe of the uh, dock in the ZBrush software. So why we call um, these uh, models as uh, polygroups or polyframes? in ZBrush is because this is not just a wireframe. Okay, we, if you are using Maya or 3D Max, you may, you may be familiar with other 3D terms of just looking at the wireframe, but it's not just a simple wireframe itself. The colors help us to organize different areas and to be able to group them and to achieve the group or the mass later. So it's really, really very useful. And uh, it's like within every one of this single color, there is another mass in it. So it's a very good way for us to control. So that's why it's called polyframe or poly polygroups because of this reason. So that's why it's not called just a wire mesh. All right, so uh, we can follow this tutorial. And uh, before that, I want to actually create, create the five groups. So maybe ears and then the center of the center of the dog and the muzzle, and then the hands, and the legs, and different groups, so five groups. Okay, so let me do that. So how do I do that? So um, when we do a mask like this, control drag, very simple mask, and then we do a, so, so I can also do it from a side view. Okay, maybe it's a bit clearer if I do it from a side view. So if I do a mask like this, and I press control W, control W sets, color to this part so essentially this mask is already safe within this color and it's red color so now we have two polyframe colors now i'll do another one because i'm trying to get the green part the ye yellow part and the green part at the sides so the color doesn't matter as long as we have a have a mask going on so i make sure my symmetry is on then I just, from my front view, I'm going to mask like this. I press Ctrl W again. So that's good. And then I'm going to do the rest. The last one is on the ears. And I press Ctrl W. So I have uh, 
ear, and then I have the top of the head, and then I have the mouth. Okay, so now I'm left with the body. So the last one, I'll just do this piece of the leg. So I'll do a mask like this, and I press Ctrl W, and that's it. Mask, Ctrl W, that's it. Okay, so I'm done. One, two, three, four, five groups, and one, two, three, four, five groups. Now we can follow the tutorial. So now we have uh, successfully Ctrl W and set the colors to all these parts. It's very good. And uh, don't worry if you didn't set it as cleanly as I did. I think uh, maybe just practice your masking a bit. It's all right. It's all right. It's, we are just learning about polygroups. So don't worry too much about that. Okay, so I'll follow the tutorial. Control Shift, click on the ears to hide everything else. And I'm just selecting the ear. So if you want to just select one part, you can do that. Or if you want to show everything, you can just show point. Okay, so any but anyway, I'm just gonna follow this tutorial. Control Shift, click on the ear to hide everything else. Now if I Control Shift, click again, I'm gonna reverse the selection. Control shift click again on the same part. I'm going to reverse the selection. Now what it does is that now we are in this mode and we reverse the selection. Everything else that we control click, we will hide it one by one. So you can see in this uh, tutorial, it hide the hands. And then uh, he'll hide the body. And then he'll hide the tail. And then he'll end up with just the muzzle and the head. Okay. So if I go to my side view, every part that I left control shift click, boop, it will be hidden. Control shift click, boop, it will be hidden. And I end up with just the ta -da, only the head and muzzle remain. Okay? So maybe I just repeat one more time. Uh if I want to just show everything again, I can just go to my top left corner and I show all the points again. Control shift click on the ears. To hide everything else, Control Shift click again to inverse the selection. Now in this mode, if I Control Shift left click once, left click twice, I'm just gonna hide subsequently everything else. Okay, I can also undo it if I want to, and then I'll level up with just the head and the muzzle. Okay, so it's a simple tutorial for us to guide and uh, how to set polygroups. And now I'm gonna show you the most useful and interesting part about this and uh, it's together in our interface it's called mask by polygroups okay if i you hold down control you will see the long explanation of what this does but basically you always keep this either 100 or zero okay either keep it 100 or zero as an on and off button why because uh, this thing will help us to sculpt by polygroups so for example if i just want my uh, number 8 brush uh, let's say I'm creating this alpha here okay you can see my alpha right let me pull this down if I were to just put put this uh, alpha on the right side oh man I just realized my webcam is blocking the view I'm sorry <laughs> okay I hope you still see the tutorial just now anyway let me continue the uh, I'm using this this uh, alpha right now and when I click on this part and I were to drag out this this alpha, because my mass by polygroups is 100, it will never go to the other polygroup color. Do you guys see that? This uh, alpha will never go, it will never attack this uh, purple color area because my first brush stroke starts off uh, at the green color area and then it will never hit the other areas so depending on where your first brush stroke start off with so let's say my brush stroke start off now i'm on number one brush my brush stroke starts from the red part and if i go all the way red down boop, it stops here it will never affect this orange area so if i press shift f i can see that it's restricted my I start my brush stroke here, it will stop here. If I start my brush stroke at the orange area and I come back up, it will not hit the red area. If I start the brush stroke at the 
orange area and I try to go to the blue area, it will not go there. So you can tell it's very, very useful. So this can be useful for us to put, make hairs or we, when we want to make different um, areas of a character, we want to really have the mass of certain areas. And remember, mass by poly groups on 100. And then if you don't want it off, then now, uh, sorry, let me zoom out again. Now that is off, the the painting will be the same again. You know, your your number one brush will go through everything again. But uh, if you want it to be on, that mask by body group is on. That means uh, it will be restricted to one color, and then my my brush stroke will not be able to go down to the other colors. So it will be restricted to just one body group where it started. Okay, so I hope you understand uh, what I'm trying to do here. I didn't go very high poly because I don't really think it's needed. And uh, yeah, I think it's pretty straightforward, guys. So hope you uh, learned something from this uh, poly group. So we'll talk more about poly groups next time. But at this point, I think it's uh, really useful. And uh, we are starting to really know more and more about ZBrush. And uh, it's time for you guys to not be too crazy from all these sub tools, you know, like uh, you may end up with a uh, object with 30, 40 sub tools and then you'll be like, come on, man, put a bit of poly groups in place and then uh, set it, set it correctly. So that, uh, for, so for me, I'll always have, let's say if I would do be doing screws, all my screws will be on one sub tool layer and then you will end up with uh, different, different poly groups so that I have the most control out of this. Okay, so if now that my dog is very high res, you know, you can see that my number eight brush, um, when I create alphas, you will never hit the other areas. Okay, and then maybe I'll just show you what the other models look like when it's created. So, for example, this human, you know, so when they create a human, they will set the polygroups like this because it makes sense, right? So the hands and the and the mass and the body is all different and then we can just do a con we can control different areas really well and then obviously like what i told you earlier control shift click control shift click we can select different areas so easily you know and then if you just want to uh, bring back everything you can uh, just press show point to bring back everything or you can just uh, invert points to just end up with uh, everything except the body and the hidden stuff you can bring it back by pressing show points all right so i hope uh, you really learned this thing well and uh, it's a really good uh, thing for us to learn polygroups and polyframe and i'll see you in the next tutorial bye bye